So, how do you plead? Have I not made myself clear? The Shogunate serves a purpose no longer. That is why I urge our people to rise decisively as one. It is they who must build this nation anew. What can the people possibly do? They must stand behind the Shogunate, or we all fall to the foreigners. You wish to keep our country safe? Then the people must fall in line. So this is the nation you want? A land of purges and repression? Your insolence and insubordination are unforgivable. You must be punished by execution. Take him away! <clears throat> <clears throat> It's a business, does it not? You're here. Have I mentioned how glad I am that you're here? Truth be told, there's a personal matter I wish to discuss. Whenever I get close to a certain row of abandoned houses, I feel like I'm being watched. When I turn around, no one's there. But I just know somebody's watching from some dark and lonely corner. Would you be so kind as to investigate and find out who's watching me? Thank you. What a relief. Do be careful while you are out there. Arguing about without a king. How oh, quickly you've forgotten about Kuroko.
Like a ninja, he appeared out of nowhere with a message. He said, We have Taka at Benden Shrine. If you want her back, the traitor must come alone. And I heard from some others in the Pleasure District that Taka had asked your guidance on a matter. Please, if you know anything about this, you must save Taka, please! Oh! <laughs> 
Glad to see your face, even if you do look rather wretched. <laughs> well, thank you for your honesty. As I suspected then, it was your former kin who kidnapped me. Well, I suppose I could. Only if you agree to see me again. Don't tell me you thought I'd be cross. On the contrary, I'm rather glad you saved me. See? Do I look angry? Do you need a closer look? I'm only teasing. I really am grateful, though. Seeing you show up to rescue me, I thought I was dreaming. But... Of course you'd come. How could you not? We both have certain people we could not ignore if we tried. Ah, forgive me. I seem to be rambling. Kichi must be worried. I should go see her at once. Say, it would take no time at all on that dashing steed of yours. Why don't I hop on behind you and hold you tight? Well, aren't you kind? Though you might have agreed to that a little too readily. <laughs> Really, though, I'm truly grateful that you came to my rescue. Thank you. And now that I've learned about you, I feel obligated to share something of myself. Such a pleasant breeze. Being here with you, I... Somehow feel as if I can let my guard down. How sad we're nearly there. Dare to hope I'm not alone in that feeling. If only we could just keep going. You and I. Go somewhere far, far away. But... Perfectly fine, Kichi. I'm sorry to have worried you. And thank you. Thank you for saving Taka. <laughs> I knew it. I knew I could count on you to help. Oh, I should mention Taka. The guest you are expecting has arrived. Ah, oh, I see. Very well. Thank you. Now, let me introduce you. Since you so boldly came to my rescue, 
I feel I should return the favor by revealing a secret of my own. Once the cat's out of the bag, there's no putting it back in, you know. I'll be waiting in my room. Be sure to come by later. who I am. <laughs> A sobriquet of my ancestor, though it seems some apply it to me. The truth is, in order to assist Lord E in his affairs, I've been keeping an eye on the expulsionists who frequent the Pleasure District. I wanted you to know, but you must promise not to breathe a word of this to another soul. Lord E is... A long-time acquaintance of mine. I wish to be of service to him in whatever small way I can. Hmm. Any complaints? And before you insinuate anything, Taka does this for me willingly. Remind me, how long have you known Taka? I'd wager I'm a better judge of her intentions than the likes of you. That's enough talk about me, I should think. It's not every day you get an audience with the Chief Minister. Isn't there something you'd like to ask him? I do what my country requires of me. A sentiment alien to you, I'm sure. <laughs> Expulsionist fools. They think my death will prevent the opening of the country. Idiocy. I have my mission. And it leaves no time to entertain their stupidity. Ah, yes. I've heard stories. Stories about them collaborating with the foreigners. I'll keep my ears open. But I am a busy man, and can offer no promises. I think we're done here. Try not to get in our way.
Oh, we... There you are. I was just telling Fukuzawa here everything. You need a poison and its antidote, you say? I suppose the easiest poison to acquire would be that of the blowfish. Very astute. Consumption Bambi damned. Everyone's snaking in a bite or two on the side. Uh, I really don't know if this is a good idea. If I make the tiniest of mistakes formulating the concoction, You'll wind up dead. That may be so, but I'm already risking my life standing up to those government goons. I've got to put it all on the line, you see? Ah, I suppose I should get you up to speed. See, the plan is. Those officials told me they'd have me beheaded. So I thought I'd go ahead and die before they get the chance. Izuka will drop dead in front of them, then come back to life when the time is right. It's sure to work, as long as we handle the poison perfectly, uh, I think. Let's just see them try to make their threats to a dead man. Aha! This is brilliant! Even for me. I... I thought I might try mixing a few chemicals into lime water, but there's really no guarantee. Have faith in your abilities, Fukuzawa. Look, if you fail, I promise I won't haunt you from beyond the grave. Let's see then. First, we need some poison from a blowfish. Think you could wrangle some up for me? There's a place nearby that'll serve blowfish if you ask. They might have some poison to spare. When you're done, just bring the poison to me. Welcome, welcome. Just you signing today? Ah, uh, another bro fish aficionado, eh? Sorry, we're all out, but so is everyone else. Some samurai families from Choshu bought all the bro fish in the market. I suppose the quickest way would be to ask the people who bought them if you could have one. Ah, but that would be tricky. Those folks from Choshu really like their brofish. But I won't stop you from trying. I heard they're having some sort of feast in Juniten Shrine, south of Kanai. Bet they want to indulge in all that brofish when nobody could see them. If all it works out and you get yourself a brofish, bring it here so I can whip up something delicious.
scum. You will live to regret this. Try to steer a hard on the monster, will you?
Oh, so you got yourself a brofish? All right then, let's make you something that'll make your taste buds dance. I'll just go prepare the fish. Uh, I, I thought you want to eat some raw fish. Uh, I can't just extract this poison and give it to you. That's far too dangerous. You're telling me you're not going to use it to kill someone. I... I suppose the fish's poison isn't that strong. All right, all right. Take it. It's yours. And take the fresh too, will you? It's bro fish after all. Can't let it go to waste. If you're done here, please take your fish and go. Hey, I know you. You're the thief that stole my blowfish. I was going to feast on that blowfish today. You're not getting a single slice. Give it back. Now. Uh huh. You've prepared it with such skill. Very well. In recognition of your feet, I'll take it slightly easier on you. Yeah. <laughs> 
Did you get your hands on some blowfish poison? Very nicely done. I suppose they don't get many requests for just the poisonous parts. Mr. Igashichi is a peculiar one, isn't he? Most people would quail at the prospect of poisoning themselves. I suppose he just doesn't want the government to interfere with his inventions, but one can't help but to be impressed by how much he's willing to put at stake. If you'll excuse me, I'll get started in the back. Just a moment. Sorry for the wait. This poison here is for Mr. Igashichi, and you can hold on to the antidote. Should, as I've weakened the poison's effects considerably. If all goes as planned, he'll just look dead, not actually be dead. Honestly, I'd rather he called off the whole affair. But he's clearly made up his mind. He should be back in the photographic studio by now. Do go and deliver what he needs. Has Fukuzawa given you what I need? Splendid! We are going to use Fukuzawa's concoctions and the worthless gadget we collected from my storehouse to fool those government goons. They'll be waiting for me at the Commissioner's office. If you're ready, I'll head over there right this instant. Are you up for it? Follow me.
The moment is upon us. Once I drink this poison, its whole systems go. I'll head in alone first. I need to go about things as usual, or I'm liable to roast suspicion. Wait until I've started showing them my useless inventions. Then make your entrance. Understood? I'm ready. Should I go ahead and drink the poison? Fukuzawa should already be inside on some sort of... When I collapse, he'll come and confirm my death. The official and his cronies don't know about us, so they'll have no reason to... With both you and Fukuzawa on hand, I'll be able to rest in peace, Temple. It's something wrong. I don't... I'm ready. That was revolting. But now we must act quickly. Here I go.